what is up guys and welcome back to another video today it is my 2021 bullet journal flip through this is the last time i will be going back and retroactively filming one of these because then we'll be caught up with real time so as always i will link these journals in the description box they're super soft like paperback style so i'll link that for you if you guys are interested So at the start of a bullet journal, I always go back to the previous year and I basically write down every single book that I read that year. Um, and so there's a close up here of everything that I read with a gold star by the ones that I liked the best. If you guys just want kind of a comprehensive overview look at what I read in 2020. Then I always like to do a goals page. These honestly change, but sometimes I feel like stay the same. It's kind of the same life goals that I always have, um, just slightly different every year. Um, I do a category for like finances, now YouTube, writing, and then like couple things like places that um, boyfriend and I wanna go. So this is what it looked like last year. This page is really cute. Boyfriend and I don't really read books together anymore, but that's what this page was all about. For this one, I really like the image of the peach. Basically just find a really old book at a used bookstore, super, super cheap, and then put it through your printer. Um, and I just printed a peach on it. I did that, I wanna say it was in my last journaling video. It was a spread for Midnight Sun and I printed a pomegranate on it, which I will link that video in the cards um, if you guys are interested, but I think it kind of turned out really cool. Then we have a Black History Month books kind of page for February. Um, one that I have read since was Hood Feminism. That's another one that I would add um, and highly recommend along with these ones that I've got listed. Of course, there has to be a Harry Potter spread in every single one of my journals. At one point or another, it somehow always comes up. Um, and then there was a postcard from my aunt. Um, she went to um, Harry Potter World, the Wizarding World, and sent me a postcard. So that was pretty stinking cool. So I've got that in there. This was my March reads. I really love this page because in a used book that I found, and I don't remember which one it was, um, there was one of these old like checkout cards. I forget what they're called, um, but it's stamped, I think all the way back to 1994. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I think it was in May, maybe June, um, boyfriend and I went out to, it's this like 70 something foot waterfall. I think it's one of the only waterfalls in Oklahoma. Um, and we went out, I think, I don't know if we were going somewhere else. I don't remember what the whole trip was about, but we ended up stopping in, it's called Colcord, Oklahoma. Um, and it was very beautiful and they have yurts you can stay in. It was pretty neat. So that's what that spreads about. Then
Then these next couple of spreads, I think there's about four full pages of New Mexico. That was where we went in the summer last year. Um, so I've just got a packing list. I was definitely getting very excited. Um, and so of course I had to make a cute packing list. And then we have about three pages of actual photos from Santa Fe and Albuquerque. I'm not totally sure why I chose to do it like vertical, like like flipped, um, but I kind of like the way it turned out. So um, kind of a tip if you're gonna get into journaling or you kind of struggle once you come back from like a trip or whatever and you don't really know what to do for a spread, keep any little bits of scrap paper that you can. Like for example, my plane ticket was there at the top anything like like receipts or tickets or anything that you that you go do um definitely keep those and you can pop them in and kind of make them look cool i wish that people like i wish that we still did paper tickets like nobody does paper tickets anymore like maybe if you go to the theater like the movie theater you get like a um, you know a ticket like a physical ticket but Everywhere you go nowadays, it's all on our phones. It's all digital. So it is a little bit harder to do that than it was in the past, but. So this gorgeous art is not something that I drew or painted or anything. Um, it is from the Zodiac calendar, which I will link. It comes out every year. I want to say it's the level in one. And so at the end of the year, when you know I'm done with it, instead of just throwing it away, I will cut it up um, and use it in my journal. And so you'll see throughout, there's some really pretty art. This is one of my favorite spreads, I think, in my whole journal. I just am obsessed with this, like, bluey green color. Um, and so I went on Pinterest, I think that's where all of these images are from, and, yeah, printed them out and made a little spread on manifesting and, like, conscious creation and all of that good stuff. Okay, this was too cool. I am so glad that I, like, made this video because I, you know, basically get to go down memory lane and feel nostalgic for all the trips that we've taken and the Endangered Ark Foundation. It's in Hugo, Oklahoma, um, which I had never heard of before. It's where circuses used to go to winter, like when they weren't traveling during the summer. But there's also a big cemetery there for like old circus performers. And we were able to feed the elephants and bathe the elephants. It was just the coolest thing. So if you are ever passing through that part of the United States, I highly recommend it. And then I had to do a spread on Vita Nostra. This has got to be one of the wackiest, craziest, most like excellently well-written books I've maybe ever read. Um, it's a fantasy. It's very abstract. It's very different, but in like the best way possible. It will just, it will blow your mind. So I had to do a spread on it. And I've heard that there's a sequel coming out. So that would be pretty freaking awesome. So I will be keeping my eyes peeled for that. Also another fun little tip for you, if you have extra photos that you end up not being able to fit or the color is wrong or whatever, um, which by the way, just print them wallet size and that way they'll fit. If you've got a smaller-ish journal, kind of like I do, make a little pocket out of like scrap paper and then tuck those photos into the pocket. So they're still in there, you still have them, you can still look at them, um, even though they're not kind of glued in like an obvious place and not on display, that way you still have them.
Another spread I've kind of made an annual thing and I plan to do it this year as well um, is like a skincare slash hair, very like kind of girly beauty sort of spread. I very rarely do any sort of spread like this. It's really the only one that I do, I guess, in the entire journal and kind of see how it changes from year to year. I kind of have a low key obsession with fancy skincare. So that is kind of fun to track from year to year. And then at the end of the year, I like to do a wrap up focusing on books. Sometimes I do like music and movies as well. Um, but this year for this journal, I think I just did books. So these nine were like the top, like absolute best. Definitely keep an eye out for my 2022 bullet journal flip through because it won't be long before I get to film that as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.